Okay, this is just a quick tutorial. Uh, quick little chance at uh, people that don't know how to get a nuke or know how to get the chance to infiltrate a base with a nuke. It's very tedious and um, a pain in the ass, but people that really want to see if Chapter 3 is there have been, you know, really trying hard to do this. So this is how I've been getting through it, and this is what you got to do to do it, to even try. And once you do, then you got to actually get good at doing it once you get to those higher level um, people that have like 16 to 2 nukes. You go here, you go all the way to the nuke symbol, pressing uh, R1, and no, no nuke there. Well, oh, what the heck, how come there's never a nuke there? Does one ever appear? No, they don't appear, they don't have a rehash button. You gotta hit zero, go back, go back to FOB missions, and tediously go with the L1 button all the way over to the nukes. Oh, look at that. Not, nothing there again. Again, you keep on going back. This is a huge flaw in the game. It's one of the reasons why people gave up on trying to get um, the nukes and the FOBs. Um, rumors are still circulating that it unlocks Chapter 3 if we unlock, if we get rid of all the nukes in the world. Um, no one knows if that's true or not, but knowing Hideo Kojima, I would think so. Python Silk can believe so. I'm kind of a big fan of their work. They, they, they do real hard. Um, um, they do great analysis, and uh, yeah, they believe it. I believed it. So why not try it? Why, I mean, why are there still so many nukes out there? For a, for a game based off of, since it was created to, you know, disarm nukes, why haven't people tried the disarming their nukes? I don't know, but it's very tedious. You gotta sit here, keep on going back. What is this, the fifth time? But eventually you'll you'll hit something. Usually earlier in the day, you can get, you can find more. Uh, being late at night, I think it's probably 11 o'clock here in the East Coast, and um, yeah, nothing so far. Just, and this is why people quit. People are like, well, how do I do it? You can't find it. You just keep on going back and forth like this. Eventually, something's gonna pop up. This is usually when I um, kick back and I. Uh... Oh, here we go. There you go. Level 49. He's he's good, but he's not that high up. Um, he's got one nuke. Oh, another person is infiltrating. I should have hit the button right away. I was talking about this and um, yeah, I missed my opportunity. You gotta hit that button real quick and just just get into it. But that might have been doable. Um, one nuke, level 49. I've been facing a lot harder than that and coming close. So. Yeah, it's it's possible, but no. A lot of people get this, and this is why they get upset. They quit. They say, "I'm not doing this. It's it's too tedious." But no, go back, do it again. You got to be quick. Again, again, Captain Buttershank searches for nukes. Uh, if you're watching this and you know how to do it, I, I'm just interested in how many nukes you've actually stolen. I would love to see the numbers. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, just throw it in the, the comments of below. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Um, just to see how many people have actually gotten some, and who's actually going through the effort. And for the people that do have nukes, I want to—I want you to be a you know a fucking asshole and tell me, oh yeah, I've got 52 nukes and they're all mine and no one's ever getting one of them. Because uh, I don't like to cheat and whatnot. You know, the great thing about this is you can fast forward it until I actually get one. <laughs> um, that's that's always a plus. So we've been doing this for almost five minutes now, four minutes. Probably only two and a half, it just seems that long. Especially when you're looking at the in-game block.
Let's just start shouting out people that are they're hitting their board up there with the highest scores. Santos and Yungi. Oh, tedious as fuck. Seriously, um, I've already hit. I've already attempted three today. Uh, two today. Uh, this is gonna be my third attempt. Um, but yeah, I've gotten three within the last two hours of playing. But right now it seems to be one of those dead spots. It's just like, ah, uh, it's mind numbing and hair pulling. Makes you want to drink a root beer float, or a beer, or something. Being so tedious. No. No. Oh, the humanity of boredom. This hurts. It's very disappointing. I thought I would have gotten one by now and been like, people would be like, well, yeah, that'll work, but then uh, people are like, oh, I ain't going through this shit. Holy fuck. This just to attempt a nuke steal. <laughs> All of you are like, I'm, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna stop right now and, ju and just quit. That's the thing, you just gotta keep at it. Ugh. Oh, the fucking humanity. So, while I'm here, I'll talk about oddities that happened in the world. You know, there was the, um... The Zeppelin incident with all humanity. Well, who knows about the? Um, I think he was an Italian or French inventor. It was a French inventor that was trying to invent the first flying apparatus. That was like a bodysuit, like those bird suits um, that people are using now that actually work. But this guy made one out of like <laughs> feathers and hot air, or some bullshit, some crazy contraption with wings that he strapped to himself. And uh, he tried to fly with it, and um, like he was an inventor, so he got a lot of like people to sort of support this. So they all, you know, tried to get authorization to jump off the Eiffel Tower, and um, they didn't get it. And yet they still snuck the suit onto the Eiffel Tower, and then uh, snuck a video camera up there—an old black and white video camera, very very choppy. Um, then, then the man just fucking jumped straight to his death. It's a great little video. Just check that out. Like I said, this could also be due to that it's very late in the East Coast. I mean, I don't, I'm saying very late, but late enough where people aren't going to be showing up with nukes because uh, they ain't playing right now. I got no stories to tell you. This is just this is this is humiliating. This is um, 
This is like its way of being like, yes, please don't play us. Please don't disarm the nukes. Screw this game. We are Konami. And we are the most evil company in the world. Yes, we are. We hate you. We hate you. Or is that just a ruse that they, you know, they pulled over our eyes and, you know, now they're doing commercials with Ford and whatnot. Does Kojima drive a Ford, though? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt Kojima would be like, yeah, I'm driving a Ford, man. Uh, David Hayter did, uh, like, two commercials for Ford, actually, which is interesting. I called him out on that. He's like, hey, all right, I need to make money, too, man. Which is true. You do need to make money in this life, especially as a voice actor. They don't make much money. Oh, and, uh, great news. David Hayter is writing the new Voltron movie, which I am actually very fucking psyched about being a huge Voltron fan for, like, shit, since I was, like, eight? Maybe even younger? My brothers were watching G.I. Joe, I was fucking watching Voltron, that was my shit. So David Hayter on the scripting for that was, uh, it should be good, I, I, I hope, I hope it should be good, I mean... Him with good special effects, now that's fucking interesting, you know what I mean? Because he never got that this big budget to write, his movies that he does write. Some of them got great budgets, like um, like Watchmen, which is a hit or miss. People love it or fucking hate it. I, I for one, I, I love that movie. Rorschach was, was raw. He was awesome. And the comic books, you know, those are classics. You can't really touch those. Like That direction, that writing that they did for those comics were friggin' awesome. And I, I think they did it somewhat of justice in the movies. This is, this is really getting bad. This is getting embarrassing. Like, I almost want to quit myself and be like, you're right, it's, it's useless. There's no nukes out there. We, d we must have disarmed them all. So yeah, kids, this is how you do it. If you want to waste your time with this fucking game and it's non-rehash friggin' button, just go to there and how about I hit triangle? Maybe, can I hit triangle to rehash? Can I, can I rehash that with triangle? No, it's, it's showing me stats that I don't need to know because I can't infiltrate nothing. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Maybe that's why. Maybe maybe the network. Maybe it's the network's fault. Yeah, the network. Oh, this it's beer time. I I just have to sit here and and have a beer. That's it's about all I can do. You know what? Oh my goodness. I just might as well go back to like trying to S-rank something because honestly, this is painful. This is so painful. This is an endless loop. It's like I took LSD, had a bad time, fucking Dr. Morpheus came over and fried my fucking brain and made me in this instant loop of cock chaos. <laughs> 